to the other big political story that we continue to track, which is the suspension of Adiranjan Chaudhary, which has now resulted into a fresh political war of words. Our colleague and senior editor, Pallavi Ghosh, also now joining us on the broadcast. Pallavi, before I talk to you about what is the plan as far as the Congress is concerned in terms of protest, the point that is being made by the BJP is that this has now become a habit, a pattern as far as the Congress is concerned, where their only point is to disgrace uh, and defame the Prime Minister. What is the Congress saying on that criticism? Well, first of all, with the news just coming in, the India Front Opposition Parties have now completely decided to boycott the Lok Sabha. And this is in support of Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary because he was suspended by the Speaker yesterday. Yeah. And the matter was, of course, referred to a privilege committee. So it's not just about the Congress Party. Clearly in a show of strength, a show of solidarity, the entire India Front MPs have decided not to go inside the Lok Sabha in the support of Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary. That's one. Just a very quick context to what Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary actually said. He use the word Nira Modi for the Prime Minister. Now we already know it is this which has landed Rahul Gandhi in trouble uh, already because uh, that's the reason why he was disqualified and he's fighting that legal case in the Supreme Court and the lower court as well. Uh, so therefore I think despite that detraction which came in from Adhirajan Chaudhary when he tried to explain that I wasn't calling the Prime Minister Nirav, I was not showing in disrespect to him, I was only saying that the Prime Minister is silent and doing nothing about it. I don't think it cut much ice with the Speaker. Clearly, the Speaker did not accept that clarification and the suspension continues, despite a request going in from the Congress Party that this suspension be revoked. So on the last day of the monsoon session, Ridima, the knives are still out between both the sides. It's been a very rocky relationship, which I can, one, one can predict and one can understand why throughout the entire monsoon session. And I think it is going to spill over, not just to our next session, but certainly in the days to come, because now begins a critical election season, state election. Elections, Lok Sabha elections. So the more the two of them fight with each other, the more acrimonious the battle for 2024 becomes. So as Pallavi is rightly pointing out, it's not just the Congress, it is the India Alliance which is now going to boycott the proceedings as far as the Lok Sabha is concerned in a united uh, message being sent out that this is completely undemocratic. Pallavi, the other criticism that's coming in against Adhiranjan Chaudhary is the BJP is saying he should have at least apologized. He did not express any regret, which shows that he thinks he did nothing wrong. Well, he actually did express a regret. He did actually say later uh, when he came out of Parliament uh, that, you know, uh, to clarify that he never meant any disrespect to the Prime Minister. And he tried to explain why he used the word Nira. But if you're asking me whether he gave a categorical apology, well, no. no. And uh, to that extent, I would say that the BJP has that point against him and against the Congress Party and accusing them of becoming a habitual offender. But now what has happened is that they've clearly dug their heels in. There's going to be no apology coming from Adhirajan Chaudhary. They also say that, you know, you, when it comes to opposition leaders, you use the rules most strongly and stringently against them, but not against those who belong to a treasury benches or those who are in power. Uh, later today at around 3 p.m. is going to be Rahul Gandhi's press conference. Uh, he's going to certainly dwell on this aspect as well. And also the fact that on Manipur, the Prime Minister never said anything substantially enough. Yeah. So we can expect some more hangama post Rahul Gandhi's press conference with the BJP equally getting its nice sharpened against Rahul Gandhi as well as against the Congress. I agree with the point that Palvi is making. The daggers are clearly drawn and that will only escalate on the last day of the monsoon session of Parliament as well. Arunuma is also joining us on the broadcast. But Arunuma, before I come to you, I quickly want to understand from Palavi. Palavi, what are you picking up in terms of how does the opposition want to escalate this protest? As you pointed out, they're going to boycott the proceedings as for the Lok Sabha. We're understanding possibly a march towards the Ambedkar statue as well. That's also again very significant. Yeah. Why have they decided to ma march after Ambedkar's statue? Because he's considered to be the father of our constitution mm. and the biggest allegation by the Congress party and the India front is that the BJP and this government has completely violated the norms of the constitution. They are playing around with the constitutional norms, with parliamentary democracy. So that's the political point that they are making. So after walking out from Lok Sabha the whole day because they don't want to be there when their leader is being suspended, sure. they're going to be marching up to the Ambedkar statue to make precisely this point. Okay, Palavi, we'll just request you to stay on with us even as we are talking Lok Sabha proceedings. Do stand adjourned till 12.30. Arunama, let me bring you also in the conversation. Just give our viewers better context of what has led to this suspension because the BJP is saying that there is due procedure that has been followed. So first, help us understand what has led to the suspension. 
Well, they say what's in a name. Adhiranjan Chaudhary has learnt it the, it the hard way that there is a lot in a name because yeah. he was says he was referring to Nirav, which means silence, mm. uh, when he made that comment to Nirav Modi and made a comparison with the Prime Minister. But it was interpreted as him saying that just as Nirav Modi has become a fugitive of law, uh, he is making the same allegations. Because exactly what Adhiranjan Chaudhary said is that in the context of uh, Manipur, mm. he claims he was saying that the Prime Minister is silent, Nirav as in silent, and even today in Lok Sabha. Uh, the mps from the india block were standing and said haryana pe nirav which means on haryana you are silent manipur pe nirav so now they are they are turning it around to say that this is what we meant uh, but we are being accused of wrongly bringing disrespect to the prime minister's chair and uh, never in the history has the leader of opposition been suspended uh, at 12:30 and even when all of this hangama is happening today is the last day yeah. usually the day begins with the speaker taking the chair uh, you know just listing out how much of business has happened and then the house is adjourned sine die but from 11 we are now counting down to 12:30 one bill has been introduced as well the so even on the last yeah. day when hangama is continuing government pushing on with its legislative business the gst amendment bill has been introduced two other bills are also listed mm -hmm. and there are speculations that perhaps home minister amit shah could spring a googly as well so we are waiting to see what mm -hmm. happens at 1230 but palavi has just told you about the opposition strategy ambedkar statue right on the left from where mm -hmm. i am standing any moment now you will start hearing chorus of the india front mp is there Okay before I go back to Pallavi Arunima I just want to understand from what you were saying a short while ago this is exactly what the opposition is saying that this has never happened in the history where a leader of opposition has been suspended could you talk to us about the process of what is a process if a suspension like this needs to come and has that due procedure been followed in this case So how a member is suspended is uh, if a motion is moved in this case the parliamentary affairs minister moved a motion and there were uh, you know two people who were named by the chair one adhiranjan choudhury and another mp from the a uh, treasury side who stood up and expressed regret and therefore the motion did not name him adhiranjan choudhury by then had uh, walked out he was not present in the mm. uh, lo in lok sabha this was after the prime minister had finished his reply to the no confidence motion uh, so the so the motion was uh, presented by the parliamentary affairs minister and because there was only the treasury side present they accepted the motion and it's a voice vote okay. and then uh, the order was read out that adhiranjan choudhury will lay suspended for the rest of the session which means till today mm. but the fact is he is the lop he is not just the leader of the congress party and that's what the india front is pointing out that his stature is much more and that was acknowledged by the prime minister also yeah. adhir ranjan choudhury was the only member from the opposition side to whom the courtesy was extended by the prime minister he came to the house to listen True. to adhir ranjan choudhury and yet he has been suspended is what the opposition is pointing out okay arun must stay on with us going back to pallavi pallavi as you were saying when you started this discussion that this name calling has possibly always resulted in the congress in you know a self goal of sorts the name nirav modi we've seen a defamation case against rahul gandhi as well is there an understanding or thinking within the congress that possibly this could have been avoided well i think certainly within the congress party they feel that at this point of time you did give that edge to the prime minister and to the bjp and not just on this issue i mean if you if you i'm sure you must have heard adhir ranjan choudhury's speech during a no conference motion and at one point of time he also said it doesn't make a difference to us whether you prime become the prime minister one time or 100 yeah. times and you know you should have seen the face and expression on sonia gandhi's face which actually provoked the prime minister to say that adhir ranjan choudhury means well but at the end of the day he messes it all up he said that in hindi ki gur ka gobar kar dete hain so this has been a problem as far as adhir ranjan choudhury goes the language issue the fact that he's often landed his party into a bit of a trouble look at a leader of the congress party in lok sabha he becomes the voice and the representative of the congress party the rest of the party cannot shy away by saying that you know he doesn't matter to us because it was his personal opinion there's no personal opinion happening over here in lok sabha and therefore to that extent when the congress party does wants all hand on deck this suspension on the ground of name calling to the prime minister is something which the congress party has learned the hard way can often boomerang on them which is why the congress wouldn't want to give that edge to a bjp which is precisely the reason why the bjp wo would want to seek that edge and that's why the prime minister kept on making the point not just in the context of adhir ranjan choudhury but also to make the larger point that these people open the dictionary and keep on looking for strongest words that they can use against me which doesn't really matter to me and he used 